Well, let's talk about the weather this week as a lot of people go back to work tomorrow. And it's going to be a little chilly, at least tomorrow. Yes, yeah. but the big carrot on the stick is it's out there Thursday. for the end of the week, right? <laughs> Can't wait. 50s and 60s finally feeling like the season. We're in spring, but it's felt like winter the last several days here. And it looks like we'll start the forecast with wintry temperatures for Monday. It's this one of the snowiest months of March on record in Boston. 2018 will probably end up being number four with 23.2 inches of snow so far for this month and no snow in the seven day forecast. In 1993, that was the top spot with 38.9 inches of snow and we don't need to break that record or anything like that. Snow totals this morning though with those brief, brief snow showers that moved across the area picked up almost two inches of snow across Blue Hill. That mainly elevation driven. Fitchburg 1.4. Kingston though 1.2 had some ocean effect snow showers in the afternoon hours and that helped to give us a brief coating and a little bit of accumulation early in the morning. But again this didn't last very long and most of that melted away as that March sunshine climbed higher in the sky. Foxborough one inch. Boston Airport only a tenth of an inch of snowfall. So the current weather picture here we have high pressure to our north but a coastal low developing well off the coast of the Carolinas and this will stay way offshore for us but it does bring some coastal effects for the next couple of days. I'll explain that in a second. High pressure is what's dominating our weather for the next 24 48 hours here as we see clear skies and on the satellite radar image the nearest cloud cover across Nantucket but all of those ocean effect snow showers have dissipated as dry air moves in. Temperatures now in the 20s and 30s were 33 degrees in Boston but your real fill temp running in the 20s in most spots feeling more like 27 degrees in Boston with still that persistent onshore wind that sticks around northeast breeze overnight 26 for the low mostly clear to partly cloudy skies across southeastern Massachusetts ocean effect clouds for the first part of your Monday that wind chill forecast sticks around too. temperatures feeling more like the upper teens and low 20s as you head out to, to the bus stop Monday morning so you want the extra layers in Monday evening not much improvement we'll feel like the upper 20s even though highs will be technically in the upper 30s. Cooler along the coast thanks to that onshore wind and some low 40s expected once you get farther inland. Now about that ocean storm. It does become quite powerful but it stays well to our south and east. Thank goodness because we needed a break from all these ocean storms here. It is a powerful one and as it stays out to sea it weakens towards midweek. Large swells expected and waves will reach our coastline especially going Going into your Tuesday night forecast. So 10 to 15 foot waves offshore with a northeast wind and we're talking more beach erosion not anticipating any flooding issues along the coast but still rocky and rough seas over the next several days. Our jet stream finally starts to change too allowing for milder temperatures to move in by the end of the week and we'll be positioned with a ridge here milder air moving in from the southwest Thursday into Friday as a result temperatures in the 60s and 50s loving that seven day forecast here it is scattered shower chance on Wednesday and then we're dry for most of the work week Thursday up to 60 Friday a chance for evening rain temps in the 50s and Saturday and Sunday going into Easter weekend looking like Saturday will be the rainier of the two days Sunday looking dry. Ken, Katie.